Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what time it is, right? It's time for you to get at me. One of my favorite segments. You know when you send your messages to my Twitter page, at Stephen A. Smith, like you go get at me, thinking I'm not going to get at, back at you? Well, guess what? Somebody done told you wrong. First up. Hey, you hear me? Mr. A. Smith. What's up? Let's talk about the MVP. I just have a question. When are we going to stop treating the MVP like it's some sort of uh, popularity contest? I mean, for me, it's only two names. Chris Paul, Nikolai Jokic. Chris Paul is on some sort of captain saver team tour. We take teams from the bottom of the barrel to the top of the bunch. And then we have Nikolai Jokic, a.k.a. the Joker, a.k.a. the Big Stepper. He is out here doing the same job that Joel Embiid does for his team. And he's doing the same job that Chris Paul does for his team. And y'all got the stat, boy. Y'all got everything you need. Look up how many games he's missed. The regular season MVP. Come on now. That's the Joker. Well, first of all, pay attention. Number one, the Joker's my league MVP as well. Number two, when you talk about Chris Paul, definitely he deserves consideration. We just going to ignore Steph Curry and the kind of season that he's had and propelling the Golden State Warriors. Uh, to the postseason with 39 wins in 72 games, not to mention averaging a league leading 32 points per game, not to mention just shooting nearly 49% from the field or 49% from the field and 42% from three-point rate. We just going to ignore that he did all that without Klay Thompson, right? Okay, what about Joel Embiid? Sixers number one seed in the Eastern Conference until he went down. We just going to ignore that, right? Get on out of here with yourself, man. Come on now. They give, we giving them love and respect. You being a bit emotional. Let's get to number two on the list, please. Hey, Stephen A., why are we not talking about what Shohei Otani is doing for the Angels? He is top five in home runs, and he is just pitching really well this year. And this is the first time we've seen it since the 1920s. So is the 2020s the new roaring 20s of this, uh, this century? Otani's been absolutely sensational. A pitcher that can hit like him is definitely a special Trent, you know, you know uh, generational talent. There's no doubt about that. And he deserves all the praise in the world. The Angels win it would help. Okay, that would help. Baseball players marketing themselves a bit, a, a bit better and helping the sport become more marketable would also help as well. Why are we not talking about Atani as a baseball player? or a particular baseball player in this instance, maybe it's because we barely talk about baseball. You know why we barely talk about baseball? Because they don't market themselves enough. You got the NBA season that started late. It started in December. It's ending in July. You got the NFL that's scheduled to start in September. And we know what last season was like, okay? So that basically gives you the month of August to be talking about baseball until October arrives and it's the postseason. And even then they'll be usurped by football. Market yourself better. And maybe we'll notice a bit more. But Atani's the real deal. No doubt about that. Next up. What's up, Stephen A? Gabriel from Brazil. And this past weekend, I was having a conversation with a friend. And I said that just offensively, not the whole game. I said that just offensively, Kevin Durant is a better player than LeBron James. And what are your thoughts? Not just now, but the whole career. I think KD is a better player than LeBron James. He's more lethal, more sniper, more killer. You know. Thank you. I think, I think that Kevin Durant is one of the greatest talents this game has ever seen. But so is LeBron. LeBron has more rings. LeBron has shown better leadership. But he can't shoot like Kevin Durant. He doesn't have the offensive prowess that Kevin Durant has. If you're asking me who would I want offensively, Kevin Durant or LeBron James, it would be Kevin Durant. Because LeBron James shooting 73% from the free throw line, ain't cutting it. LeBron James, even though he's improved his perimeter shooting vastly, still ain't the shooter that Kevin Durant is. Kevin Durant, there's no shame on LeBron. It's just that Kevin Durant is one of the greatest offensive players we've ever seen in the history of basketball. So as an offensive talent, yes, I would prefer Kevin Durant. Next up. Y'all got scared. Y'all got scared, huh? I thought it was another one waiting for me. But y'all got scared because Stephen A gave it to y'all. Y'all thought y'all was going to come at me, but I'm coming at you. Yeah, I'm coming at you. See how scared you are? I knew y'all were going to run. Y'all scared. Get at me another day. Try again. It ain't gonna work. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.